The way a Parkinson's disease is diagnosed is a clinical diagnosis, by which I mean that the physician usually takes a history and performs an examination. We usually don't do any tests such as a brain scan, like an MRI of the brain, unless there is a certain reason that the physician feels like an MRI is needed, and this could include that the patient is young or may have other symptoms such as having memory problems. Uh, clinically, when we see a patient, a patient has to have at least the symptoms of tremor, slowness or bradykinesia, or rigidity, and they have to have at least two out of these three to be present to make an assessment that they have features of Parkinsonism. Once that is established, a physician usually assesses that there are not any other reasons or other neurological findings. In other words, the patient really only has the tremor, the slowness, the stiffness, but not any other neurological signs. In addition, the physician usually will assess that the presentation is not atypical, uh, by which I mean that the symptoms did not begin with an atypical symptom such as falling, or the memory problems did not begin earlier. Finally, we look at certain other characteristics, such as did the symptoms begin on one side? Majority of the patients, the symptoms begin on one side. Uh, did the patient have a tremor when they were just resting, which is called a resting tremor? Again, a resting tremor starting on one side is the most common presentation for Parkinson's disease. We often assess have the symptoms progressed over time. Uh, we assess if they have been on medications that not only they have responded well to the medications, but these Parkinson's medications have been working for an extended period of time usually five years or longer. If a patient has developed any involuntary movements due to their medications. Taking all this together, a physician will come to a clinical diagnosis of Parkinson's disease.